John Frank here with Remax Professionals. Today the conversation is about exterior finishing choices and in Manitoba we have five that are very, very common, right? Um, so they are uh, vinyl siding, aluminum siding, wood siding, fiber cement board, also known as Hardy board, that's a brand though. And, uh, and, and lastly, we have stucco. Right, so starting with uh, the three types of siding, the most common, most common, and most cost-effective type of siding out there is uh, is vinyl siding. Right, um, vinyl siding uh, as a product, as a pro, is typically installed over top of a uh, closed cell, a rigid styrofoam. So that styrofoam adding that extra R value onto the house, that's always nice. Um, but it's it's easy to easy to relatively easy to install, um, you know, and 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 fairly budget friendly. Okay, the downside of that vinyl siding is that it's temperature sensitive. So if you have your barbecue a little bit too close, or uh, you hit it with something hard in the middle of the winter, it is a little bit more brittle. So the barbecue will make it melty. The you know, and if you hit it in the hit it with something uh, when it's a little colder out, it will it will shatter. And um, as for impact resistance, I often see around the bottoms of things. You know, when you when you're when you're doing doing anything with your edger there, or if your uh, or if your um, lawnmower picks up a stone and shoots it at your siding, it, it will probably puncture that siding, right? Um, uh, and it can get a little bit more brittle with age. Uh, aluminum siding, um, more expensive for sure, comes in that plethora of colors, just like vinyl siding, uh, but durable, right? So a little bit more of a skill set to get that sucker installed, the aluminum siding. Uh, it will last you for years, so hope you pick a color you really, really, really like. Um, doesn't tend to fade that much with, uh, with UV. Um, uh, however, uh, when you, if you throw on rocks or baseballs or crab apples around your yard, I'm not saying that I did anything like this around my grandfather's aluminum siding, but it does leave dents. Uh, and once it's dented, uh, there's no coming back from that. There's no way to pull out that dent. So, um, so once it's, once it's installed again, it, like not you can push the barbecue up up a little closer to it not a big deal right um and and if you if you if you bump into it in the winter um you know it's not it's not going anywhere it's aluminum right um third type of siding would be wood siding uh often this is this is done just for aesthetics right if you're looking for more of a you know uh uh a, a rural or a rustic look to your home uh, that, that that wood siding is often used it, this is not a low a low or no maintenance product right once the siding goes on it still needs to be upkept right it, you know it tends to curl over 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 time especially if you're using cedar or cedar shakes right and it needs to be uh, have stain reapplied to it or painted every uh, every few years um, the third, the fourth, rather the fourth most common product, and it, it's a bit more of a luxury product these days, is that is that fiber cement board, right? Um, definitely, you need uh, uh, someone with a, a set of tools, specialized set of tools to install this. However, it comes from the factory. It can come primed or not primed, and you can paint it whatever color you like. It is totally uh, not UV affected by UV. Uh, or temperature changes, um, it is it is incredibly durable, um, and like I say, you can paint it whatever you like it, and it'll hold that paint for for ages, right? Because it just sucks it right in. Um, and lastly, stucco. Stucco is probably the most common exterior finishing choice, right? Stucco. Um, is incredibly durable. It's very cost effective. Uh, you're, you know, you can even uh, you can paint it. Uh, Dupont now makes a, a tint for it. So if you if you wanted to tint it any color under the rainbow, Dupont has a, a concrete coloring uh, uh, coloring kit that you can you can add make it just just about any color you want. But once that color is in there, it's in there. Like there's no way of getting it out. So for example, I. I, my house is painted yellow, right? Uh, really nice 
creamy Fortunata yellow. And I thought, oh, well, wouldn't it be a good idea to get that tint, that same tint applied to the garage? Well, um, I, I will never be changing the color of my house. It will always be a yellow house now, because that garage, she is yellow. Um, so if you have any questions about this or, or, or anything else, feel free to just drop me a message. Happy to help. I hope you found this educational.